Okay, how are we all doing? I hope everyone's keeping well out there. Um, so a lot's happened on YouTube since the last time I was here. Um, Jordan Pear, who has a channel like mine and it's a lot better and he knows what he's doing. Um, he does a lot of vintage hi-fi stuff and a bit of TV stuff and vintage radio and all that sort of stuff. Uh, for some reason YouTube just deleted his channel. Uh, but thankfully they listened to what people were saying and with the likes of Shango 066, uh, Dave Jones on the EEV blog and BigClive.com um, they all did videos highlighting what was going on and obviously word filter through to YouTube that it was a massive mistake taking down the chat's channel and he's back on so I wish him the best of luck. Um, for anyone who doesn't know about him or whatever, I'll, which I find unlikely, but um, I'll leave a link to his channel in the, the doobie doo for. Um, so, I'm going to have a can of Guinness because I haven't had one in quite a while. And, to say, I enjoy a nice cold can of Guinness. Um, I've been doing a lot of outside work here still, so getting there. I think in the next uh, two or three weeks, I'll have most of my outside jobs done. And I'll be able to do a lot more videos, but I'm gonna try and sneak out in the evenings um, a little bit more often now and do a few more videos. A lot of vintage radio stuff I'm up to um, do. But this is a Philips KT3, and you may recognize this. Um, I did a video way back, uh, probably about six months ago or maybe more, where I had one of these that had a bad trip right in it, it was in really bad condition and um, I ended up scrapping the set actually but uh, yeah I was messing around with it and I, I got it going but I had the wrong trip right in it and the focus was way out it didn't matter anyway I was recently given this one now I was told that it had been working when it was put away 25 years ago and it hasn't been touched since so I'm gonna plug it in and see does it work. Um, I'm not gonna take the back off. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna plug it in and see what happens. And uh, it should be interesting. Uh, it was put away in a dirty, filthy shed there. So you can see that there's a nice thick layer of dirt on the top of it. So it hasn't been kept in the best of condition. Like most of the stuff that I um, get my hands on. So I'll probably just bring in the camera a little bit and we can see. I don't know if these have reefer caps or across the mains that lay, let out loads of magic smoke. It's quite possible. But um, cheers everyone. Oh yeah. I haven't had one of them in a couple of weeks. Well a week anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah so I don't know if it's going to emit lots of smoke or what it's going to do. It still has a plug on it. So, I think what we'll do is we'll plug it in first. And switch on and off. So, right. And we'll see does it come on. And if it does or it doesn't, we'll take the back off either way and have a look in. This one sadly is uh, missing its little door. But, uh, that happens. That seems to be the thing that goes missing on the old TVs. So, um, what am I waiting for? It's plugged in. Let's switch on. It works. It works. It works. It's walking away. That's good. Seems to be getting a little bit brighter as it's on. Alright. That's a good start. I have the um the old five R one five on with the DVD player showing test card F. So and we'll plug in the RF connection to the back and see if we can tune in test card F. And that makes a very uneventful video so far. This 
This one will be so hard to find them when you're... Oh! <laughs> right. <laughs> that wasn't hard, was it? Mm. Eight is stuck in a bit. Must be broken. I wonder if we tune it in a bit better. That was handy. Go down the side. Number 10. Is on the left hand side. Forward from the bottom. That's as good as it gets. It's not going to get any better than that. So, he wasn't lying to me. It was working when it was put away 25 years ago. It's working quite well too. Now tell me this, is there no contrast control on these or, I don't see a contrast control, there's one on the side, no, anyway I think that's quite good, we'll get the back off and have a look inside, but um, maybe the focus could be touched up a little bit, yeah we'll plug it out, spin it around, get the back off. And we'll see if the focus could be touched up. No dark screws in it. Oh, so that was handy so far. Anyone give me a year for this? I see on the back here it says something 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 DM6278. I don't know what that is, I don't think they go back that far. I think they're 88, 81 or 82. Hmm. Made in Singapore. Lovely. Easy access the way it swings up the swings down. Um there is a date on the amino litrolytic. Eight zero two nine. That could be a bit plausible. Week twenty nine, nineteen eighty. It's not actually too bad looking inside. There's a little bit of surface rust on the steelwork, but um, looking at fall out with the tube is an A forty two five five six X. Yeah, it's in quite nice, nice nick actually. It needs a little bit of a dust out, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So, we will switch it back on. And get this to come in. So 
We'll switch it back on and we'll give the focus pot a little tweak to see if we can get it. I don't think we need to do anything else with it. And then I will give it a bit of a hoover out maybe. Vacuum it out and uh, give it a bit of a brush. Let's see if we get mm, right. Okay. And the focus part is here. So I'm gonna do this with the arm out of the way. So we can let's see if we can get the phone out of it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little bit sharper now. Uh, spin it around. Yeah, I think that's a little bit sharper than it was. So there we are, a Philips KT3 from 1980. Back going again. Well, there wasn't nothing wrong with it. Um, I'll give it a good clean over and uh, she should be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, I can do a video on nothing really, ultra. Sure. That's kind of what you get here. <laughs> I hope these are all keeping well anyway. And uh, I'll try and get a bit more, a few more videos out in the near future. Thanks for watching and take care of yourselves. Good luck for now.